At ADA, we had uh, significant new announcements in um, data and informatics. Uh, at the top of the list is um, the work we are doing with IBM Watson um, on and this new app, the predictive app, we first disclosed at CES and we will f finally see in the market in the summer. The next uh, big announcement was our partnership with Neutrino. Uh, it's, the Neutrino is a new age, new era company uh, that does food and nutrition advice uh, based on uh, CGM data. Uh, so we provide integration with Minimet Connect and um, you know, the service will now be available for Minimet Connect customers. Uh, the third uh, major announcement um, is on our proprietary CareLink platform. Uh, CareLink is um, the dominant platform today in uh, most endocrinology clinics. We now make um, CareLink Pro reports available uh, in personal. Uh, we are making CareLink available on the web and we added um, a slew of new reports, uh, far more insightful um, into the CareLink Pro package. Um, so that these are exclusively available to healthcare providers and um, shine light on this dark area of pump settings uh, for, uh, for physicians so as to optimize their interaction with, with, their, with their patients. I think you've got to understand that diabetes has so many different facets and in terms of uh, you know managing diabetes care and if you look at the end game for diabetes management uh, really the end game is going to be about how we all pool our resources and our unique specialities uh, so take this example with IBM Watson for example where IBM is really a leader in uh, data management and cloud services in uh, predictive analytics and uh, Medtronic is a leader in clinical technology, in devices, and in understanding the, the patient context. And when you put those two things together, you really have a compelling offering uh, that meets the needs of the user from a clinical perspective, but also from a convenience and lifestyle perspective, which is what they're looking for uh, from their medical device company. Now, patients have come to expect uh, you know, a different level of service. And Diabetes Service and Solutions is that brand. It's, it's coming to you and saying, well, we will provide holistic care for you, not just in terms of uh, data and analytics, but also auxiliary services. So it plays a big role. Patients are familiar with mobile technology and they expect uh, now in this mobile era, they expect um, you know, all of their data, for example, to be available on their mobile phone. We do that with um, yeah, uh, Minimet Connect, for example, is a connectivity tool, a platform that allows the pump and a CGM to communicate data back to the mobile phone so that you know, they, can, they can see it at one glance. Um, this data can also be uploaded from there into a Carolink cloud. Um, the, the key bit being um, patients want user-friendly experiences. And um, you know, to that extent, um, you know, we really have to go where the patient is in terms of um, you know, their, their therapy. They, they're not looking, you know, they, they want us to fit uh, the solution within their environment, within their home, within their existing ecosystem, so to speak. It brings us back into partnerships and collaborations, and it brings us into the mobile era on the, on the cloud, um, on other um, you know, fifth, the fifth displays, for example, or fourth displays that, you know, they're there, that they want to interact with data on. So I guess um, diabetes or uncontrolled diabetes, I should say, is really the cause of all of these comorbidities that you talk about. And when you talk to cardiologists or, you know, nephrologists, for example, one of the first things they try to do is bring the patient back in control. And if you have not been able to do that, there is really um, you know, the impact of anything else, any other cardiovascular drug or, or renal drug is, is going to be far less. Um, you know, so this clearly is the first thing that needs to be managed before. So you first bring the patient in glycemic control and then you can think about, okay, what other interventions are required um, so as to bring these other comorbidities in control. When you look at it from a first principles perspective, we are doing the right thing in the sense we are helping them manage their glycemic, uh, we are helping them manage their glucose, and then they can go out and, and manage their comorbidities. Uh, and glucose control is really a daily life issue because people are you know, consuming meals, consuming or having, showing, displaying behavioral um, things like you know, having enough activity or not having enough activity, um, which makes a difference then 
um, on on these other comorbidities. Um, you know, that's basically how these comorbidities came out with true bad habits. Bringing about a change in the comorbidity on the comorbidity side first begins with diabetes for better diabetes care, which is what we're committed to.